بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما next thing is classifying the counter measures now once we identify the risk and the assets of the company which we did in the previous videos we need to decide what are the different counter measures or or we can say what are the security steps you are going to apply in your company to reduce the risk of a successful attack so technically counter measure means uh, it's like protecting from potential risk or threats or some kind of attacks by applying some security policies so typically we call it as counter measures and once we apply these counter measures either we can eliminate the attack or we can at least minimize the impact of that particular attacks now mainly these counter measures are classified into three main categories one is administrative controls uh, physical controls or technical or logical controls Now, administrative control mainly deals with administrative or management of the office, typically based on some security policies decided by the company, like providing some kind of security aware trainings to the end users, or maybe some following some standard security policies, uh, or maybe some kind of hi good hiring practices when you are hiring the people, or so doing some kind of background verifications of any of the contractors or the employees before you actually hire them. and also doing some kind of security audits and the test and also change controls contraction controls comes out of this so mainly the administrative control deals with something like admin department uh, like hiring the people or managing the people and the resources and most likely you need to follow some uh, some kind of best practices in order to make sure that uh, we we don't have any kind of vulnerabilities from from the people now the physical controls deals with the physical security things like applying some security guards in the uh, like appointing some security guards or applying some logs or the safe racks or uh, installing some kind of intruder detection systems or setting up a ups to have a proper power supply due, during some power failures or it also refer uh, can be like fire suppression systems or or the positive air flow systems so these are mainly deals with uh, something like physical controls so mostly in the in the, in the security codes probably we are not going to deal much of these two two types of counter measures because our main focus will be on the technical or the logical controls like installing some firewalls security device called a firewall to to define the policies what traffic should be allowed on the internet what traffic should not be allowed or monitoring uh, specific traffic with ips monitoring some kind of malicious traffic or setting up some vpns providing some connectivity between the sites or the remote access uh, through internet or installing some kind of tacax or radius servers for authentications some one time passwords smart cards biometric authentication devices uh, and also implementing some kind of nexus uh, ne network admission control systems it's like when a user a guest user connects probably he should be assigned to the guest vlan and he should be only able to access only the internet but he should not be able to access anything other than internet means this guest user should not be allowed to enter into my company network that's what ne network admission control uh, typically and then implementing uh, some acls on the routers or on the firewalls to filter what traffic should be allowed what traffic should not be allowed